a pleasant surprise. How was Vegas? Did you get into some trouble for me? Let me see a good shower. And have a good time. As you can see from my luxury accommodations this past week here, and Chuckles has just been peachy. Yeah, I'd say from the look of things, you're master of your fate. <laughs> well, don't bother sticking around for the trial. From what I hear, it's an easy open shut case. You'll never get to trial, Dodge. Sonny will get to you first. Yeah, I'm accused of beating your best friend's daughter. Aren't you even curious if I did it? If what they're saying is true, I don't know how to help you. That's not exactly what I needed to hear. Look, Dodge. I was there when Christina flounced into the casino and wouldn't leave. I was there when she threw her nasty little tantrum and tossed that drink in your face. And I was there when Sam came in, blaming you for all of her sister's problems and spouting a bunch of crap about men being brutalizing bastards who do nothing but victimize women. Now, under those circumstances, I can see where a guy would snap and might do something that he didn't intend to do. So... What, you think I did it? No, I didn't say that. What I'm saying is that whether you did it or not, I will stand by you. You should have seen Christina when I found her. Whoever could do that deserves whatever Sonny has coming for him, but it wasn't me. I was... I was still pretty pissed when I left the casino. You know, I admit that. I went to the lake house to just talk to her, and uh, there she was. She was laying on the floor, all just bloody and broken, and, you know, poor girl was scared to death. She lashed out, tagged my face when I tried to help her. I don't know who she thought I was. Maybe the attacker coming back to finish the job. Or, I don't know. I took her to the hospital. But I, I swear to you, I did not attack Christina. People have jumped to some pretty ugly conclusions about me, so I know what it's like to be judged before the evidence is in. Yeah, well, thank you for believing me. It's good to know there's one person in this pathetic waste of a town who has my back. It is an uphill battle, though, when the victim IDs you. Well, I didn't exactly do myself any favors. It was beyond stupid to get into a public argument with Christina. You know, I, when I found her at that house, I don't know, I should have just put it in an anonymous call to 911 instead of putting on my cape and driving her into the hospital. No, you did the right thing. She was hurt. She needed help. You gave it. Well, there's one thing I'm still banging my head against the wall over. Yeah, I know what it is. It was stupid. To break that restraining order and go to see her? What the hell were you thinking? I don't know. I had this idiotic notion that somehow I could talk sense into a little girl and convince her to clear my name. Well, it was a boneheaded move. Yeah, I know, and now I need to run. You know, so thank you for taking the time to come back and bust me out. No, just hold on a second. Let's don't uh, jump to some rash conclusions here. You need to stay put right now and see if we can clear your name. Failing that, I'll make you disappear so completely they won't even know you were here. I can use one of those if you're 